I about to do, you ask? You mean, am I going to look for yarn to make that viral Taylor Swift um, little dress long sleeve thing? Absolutely, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look right there in that freaking stash. So the dress, let's look for this brown, this dark brown first. To be 110%, I don't think, even if I found a color, I would have enough in my stash. Uh, it wouldn't even be enough to make. So let's look through my other stash of yarn and see if we can't find anything with a lot of yarn. Ooh, how about this? Is this like a, like an olive? Are we digging that? Okay, we're gonna do olive. Anything in the other stash, but I remember I have this. <gasps> I found the brown. Okay, brown, olive, do we have in here oh we have this nice little this what color is this like a stone wash like a blue okay that doesn't go together but we're gonna figure these colors out let's pull that out too so here's what i found i found the brown ta-da i found that like purplish color right there I found a couple of cream balls of yarn but I might have to change that I couldn't find that like peachy color but I found like a pink so maybe that might work I might have to change that too actually no I decided on not changing it this is what it is this is what we're using this is it I, I changed I changed the cream to this color which is a cream but it has a little hint of the pink too all right, Marge is sized and ready. These are my measurements right here. We're going to make a Taylor Swift little, I don't know what it is, crochet thing. doing like a drop in the neck right here and I'm not quite sure how to do that without doing like a panel here and then doing a shorter panel here and then doing a longer panel this way I've never made a dress like this before so I am my wheels are spinning but I'm pretty sure that because I'm using acrylic yarn that it's going to drop that neckline right here anyways that's my thought so I'm going to do just the front panel of the granny stitches, the back panel of the granny stitches, and I'm gonna do two panels for the arms. Um, one panel for each of the arm, actually, you know what I'm saying? Um, and see if that works. If it doesn't, then I'll just start on a new dress. But I'm, I think it's gonna work. I'm using acrylic yarn, so usually it'll weigh it down a little bit. You know, it'll flow nice, so. Let's get started on it and see what happens. Let's just play with it. All right, so I just realized that I've never done a granny stitch um, in rows, but only in rounds, or in granny squares, not rounds, in granny squares. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing now, but I did get this part right. I did get this part right. I chained to 115, now let me show you why. So here's Marge, right? There's large Marge. Okay, there's Marge. Right here, there's the beginning of the shoulder. And right here, down, and this is gonna stretch down further. 
once we start crocheting. So I chained to 115 because look at the back. Because you know we got cakes and whatnot, right? This is gonna go longer. Because you don't want you don't want the whole booty to hang out. So it's gonna go probably about down to there, right? So I chained. I chained to 115 and now I think I'm gonna chain to 110. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna chain to 105. One, two, three, four, five. I'm telling you, this is, you know, an as we go type of thing. I've never made something like this before. Let's try this again. Because this is gonna weigh it down. Okay, yeah, that's a little better. That's better. So, <clears throat> I chained to 105. <gasps> And um, now I'm going to figure out how to do a granny stitch going in rows. I'm pretty sure it's a granny stitch that we're doing, right? Now I'm questioning everything in life. Listen, if it's not a granny squitch stitch, then just tell me, please, and give me the correct, the correct stitch. I know how to crochet. I'm not good with terminologies and stuff like that. So hmm, I just know what I'm doing when I do it. Don't ask me to speak about it, though. Let's try. Um, I feel like it's starting to go in like a circle like it's like going like this maybe I don't know I'm gonna Pinterest because I don't know what I'm doing I just thought of this granny stitch okay okay we have something. Okay. You're going to want to start with a multiple of four stitches plus six. What? So starting with the chain of 12 plus six, so 18 chain a multiple of four plus six in these photos i am starting with 18. i suck at math three double crochet in the seventh chain from hook Three double crochet and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Chain one, skip three chains. One, two, three. Three double crochet in the next chain. One, two, three. In the fourth, one. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, I think we're doing this correctly now. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, 
Do you, you see it? Much, much better. Okay. All right, we got the hang of it. Let me come back after I finish the four of these. So far, we have the pink. Let me show you what it looks like on the or on large Marge. Now listen, I put Marge in my slip so that I could see if this is long enough to um, to cover the slip. Obviously, I have to wear something under it, right? So we put this here down to here. It's perfectly enough. Now listen. When I start making more of the dress with the acrylic yarn, it's gonna weigh it down even more. So it'll be just right, right there. It's gonna weigh down about that long. So it's gonna be the perfect length. I'm so excited now. We're gonna start on the like darker brown, this brown. And we're gonna do one row of this brown. y'all here is what we're working with so far okay there that's what we have so far oh i love it yes. i love it it looks like a shirt we're now moving on sorry we're now moving on to like the purplish, like blue color, I guess. What is this called? Periwinkle I'm using. And it's right after the brown and we're gonna do two rows of the periwinkle. If I can find, ah, if I can find my hook. So we'll get started on that. All right, y'all, I am finished for the night. 
this is what I've gotten done so far it's coming out pretty cute I decided this is going to be the back panel because I have figured out how to make the dip in the neckline for the front panel um, so hopefully tomorrow like this dip right here so hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get more into that um, I'm hoping I'll be able to finish the back panel early tomorrow but it's coming out pretty great um, obviously I'm going to need some more on the sides right here so I'll probably do um, another round of these or row of these to cover that and then I'll do the same thing on this side so we're working this side now I'm excited about it anywho thank you for watching uh, part one of the T Swifty dress making that is so viral right now and I'll meet you back for part two like subscribe comment and share and remember, it's always love here at the Happy Hooker's Closet. Bye.